What up, Smart Rapper Gang? Today, really good video. I really feel like this is going to, you know, really help mold and evolve your mindset when it comes to, you know, music creation. Honestly, this video alone, if you don't know that much about beat track outs yet, or, you know, really the production side, this video, I guarantee you, is going to help you increase the, the quality of your songs and a lot of stuff with your songs. I'm not even playing, like, you know, 20 to 30% realistically. Now, this video is about track outs and the benefits of having a beat track out. Now, uh, for years, I was rapping for years and I didn't know what a beat track out was. And I'm not going to lie, it was mostly because I couldn't afford a beat track out. I could only buy a beat lease if I was lucky, a $20 lease. I was so broke. So if I bought a lease, I was like, okay, I get the lease. And you can see this right here. This is usually how it comes, right? If you buy a beat from a beat maker or you download a beat from a beat maker, this is how the beat comes. This is what's considered a two track, okay? Now, the difference between this and a track out is enormous when it comes to mixing your song uh, and, and all the things I'm going to go over with you today. All of the things that you can do with a track out to your song that you can't do when you have it like this, okay? This is, you can't really change this. Yes, sometimes, I mean, I used to do it a special lot. You, you, you take this section and you move it over here because you wanted to have this here or this would be over here. Or maybe you wanted this down part right here and you want to take this and you want to move this to the beginning. Like, yeah, you could do that, but you're so restrained. And that's a big deal when we're talking about you have an amazing song, you already love it and everything else like that, but there's things you would like to change, right? Like maybe there was an instrument, you just hate that instrument, you're like, oh, why did they put those, those bells in there? Or that outdated sounding whatever instrument it might be. Now, this is, I'm going to help you, I'm going to help you understand all this, okay? Let's go ahead and get into it. Right, now that you already know what this looks like, and I'm hoping you do, if you've ever recorded yourself, which I'm guessing you have, all right, now this is the difference, okay? This is what that beat looks like with all of the individual instruments tracked out. That's why it's called a track out. Track, 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 track. Each individual instrument is tracked out for you. And there are so many benefits to this, okay? If you look at this right here, you can see you're like, whoa, like all that make this, right? All of those instruments make this beat right here. That's what this is, okay? Now, if we go back, and we, you know, let me play this one for you real quick. Let me play just this one. You can hear this, okay? The claps, the kicks, the brass, you know what I'm saying? All of it's in there. Now, if you go up here, now let's look at this. Like, and now, now it's, it's all tracked individually. Like that, that main part that you heard here, this brass right here, Check this out, all right? That's just that one individual instrument. Okay, so the number one thing, the, number, the, the first benefit of having a track out is if I don't like that instrument, well, okay, well, I can delete it. Okay, now I, don't, I can just listen to the beat without it. What if I want it back in there? number one number one is you can delete any instruments you don't like oftentimes a, a beat maker will send me beats and i'll be like yeah oh oh that's crazy and then this cor chorus comes on and there's this instrument that i'm like why why did you do that to the beat <laughs> like you know what i'm saying and but it's okay though because when you know okay i can buy this beat get the track out and i can get rid of that instrument okay that's number one you can take out instruments that you don't like if you have a beat track now, number two, you can actually change the individual volume of each individual and specific instrument, okay? So if, you know, let's say that this was too loud, right? Which is, seems, seems pretty loud, right? Well, I could take it, I can turn it down by like 7.2 decibels. everything blend and mesh together well you know maybe the kicks are too loud maybe you know just something's too loud and also you know it, uh, it also goes the other way maybe you want to turn up an instrument that the uh, the producer had put in there that was just too low you're like oh I want to hear more of that kick or more of those claps right that's another benefit is that you can adjust the volume levels all right the third benefit is that you can actually pan the instruments now because I don't have it set up like this I'm actually in Pro Tools it's using my sound card 
uh, I can't actually like uh, have it come to the computer for this software to uh, to play it back, you know, to pan it left and right. But just bear with me here. All you have to do is this: if you're in your any digital audio workstation, if I if I only wanted the claps to come out of the left side, I could pan all the claps to the left, okay? Or I could pan all the claps to the right. Or I could pan them 50%. Or I could pan them 25% and let them sit in the mix just where I want them to sit at. You can't do that without the beat track out. Now. Number four, and I think that this is one of, uh, this is a very valuable part. Number five is the most valuable, but number four is you could put effects on instruments, okay? Now I already kind of put some on here real quick. Now let's listen to this soloed, okay? And it's down negative point. Let me put this right here, okay? Let's say I want to put instruments, I want to put an effect on it, right? Because I'm like, you know what? I like this instrument, but it could be stronger. And you could apply so many effects to instruments, you know what I'm saying? You can even you can even set it in, in the different frequency range and everything just by changing the EQ and everything. Or let's like watch listen to this. Watch this. Let me let me uh, turn this on real quick. Sounds completely different. Right? You could you could actually apply effects on every single instrument. You could change them. You could you could make them do anything you want to make them do. Right? I could turn the re I could turn the re kick the reverb up on there as well. You know. Way in the back is a lot of reverb on that, but you know what I'm saying. Or like, if you listen to this, right? Let me check this out. Watch this. Okay, got this. One of my favorite plugins. Okay, just bypass right now. Just those little tiny things, those effects that you want to put on something to really make them pop or to make them sit further in the back or make them sit over here or sit somewhere else in the mix or maybe accentuate some of your vocals in certain parts of your song. Now, number five, and really the most beneficial reason to go out and buy any beat that you're ever going to buy is, um, aside from the mix and the master, realistically, is that you can change the arrangement of the song. And for those of you out there who don't understand the massive power of arrangement, it's a really big deal. Arrangement is what really pulls your listener in, keeps them along for the ride, builds the ups and the downs, the crescendos, and really builds the tension and all the hype and all the energy in your song that goes like this, that keeps them listening and be like, okay, you know, like how a chorus comes in and it's like powerful and it keeps you engaged. Um, then goes back into the verse where instrumentation is pulled out and then rebuilds back up. And then there's a little bit more instrumentation in the second chorus. And then the third one, it really explodes and it's powerful. And people wait for that last moment because it's like this ride. It goes up like this and it goes down like this and it goes back up. When you reach, you know, at towards the end of the song, it's very powerful. And it's usually the most exciting part of a song, isn't it? It's where there's the most layers of vocals. It's where there's the, there, there's the most instrumentation. And when you have a beat track out, you can pull out instruments, right? Like if I didn't want this to come in yet, if I didn't want this instrument specifically to come in yet, I could cut it out here and wait for it to come in on the second chorus. When you do something like this, now the second chorus is going to explode more because this instrument was put here, okay? You can't do that unless you have the track out. But at the same time, if I wanted to add this into, you know, maybe the second half of uh, the first verse, and this is not a grid, obviously. I didn't set it to a grid. I didn't really think it was necessary for this video. If I wanted this to uh, be in, at the end of the second verse instead of being, you know, inside of the chorus, which I don't know why I would, but if you wanted to, you could put it there. And if I wanted to, you know, make claps come into certain spots and stuff like that, check this out, though. What I really like about... Uh, being able to take out the instruments and change the arrangement, everything is here. See here, see here, and this this looks like this is the third verse, right? So it drops out, the beep drops out. There's no instruments, and then it rebuilds up, right? The instrument comes in. That's, and you can change all of this stuff and really build and detail your song. Having the track out is insanely powerful. And as well as when your mix and master engineer gets their hands on this, they can really set your vocals, your chorus, your ad-libs, your voiceovers. They can set everything into the mix much better if they have a track out.
okay? You just became a smarter rapper. If you have a song you absolutely love, I recommend you go buy the exclusive for it if you really believe it's a hit. This way you own it. It gets taken off the beat maker's page. Um, and you're also going to get the track out, okay? Or you can go buy a track out from a beat maker. Generally, a basic lease is $20 to $30, and a track out is $50 to $80, okay? And that's for most beat makers. So if you really believe in the song, and or there's parts of it you don't like, or there's parts that you know you're going to want to rearrange, or you're going to want to change, just spend the 80 bucks on the song. You're investing in your career. Don't think about it as, I'm giving a beat maker money, which they should get their money. They deserve their money. They work just like you worked on the song, right? But consider it an investment into yourself and don't forget if you have a business established if you have an LLC established you get to write off on taxes it's tax writable okay so I'll actually put a video below for you guys if you want to know how to go ahead and start your own record label uh, I have actually the top video on how to start a record label as well if you guys didn't know that you can actually start one in less than five minutes all right so I'll put that I'll put a link to that video below I hope this helped you guys all right I wish I would have known this in the beginning and that's why I'm showing you guys you just became a smarter rapper I'm Rob Level this is smart rapper go ahead and hit me with a like hit me with a subscribe and when you hit subscribe hit that little bell because it's going to notify you every time I release a new video so you could become a smarter rapper and also hit me with a comment what you guys think about this do you feel like there's any other reasons uh, to get a track out and did you know about this did it help you please let me know below those types of comments help me want to continue making videos if I know they're helping people all right I know this would have helped me so I feel like it's going to help you I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video uh keep hustling all right you got this